My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some Microsoft Power Automate. Today we will see how we can send an email with formatted times in Power Automate. And the reason that I make this video is because Power Automate uses UTC, Coordinated Universal Time, that is approximated at Greenwich time. And if you use another time zone, then your time will not be correct, or it will be correct, but you won't have your local time. So we will see how we can sort that. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about Microsoft Power Automate. So I have a SharePoint site here, and in the document section, I want to get an email every time a new document is created or is modified. I want to, uh, among some uh, properties in the mail, I want to have the uh, local time in where the document was created and modified. So let's create that in Power Automate. I start to click Create. I'll choose a trigger-based flow, that is a automated flow. And we will click here, Automated Flow. And we could give the flow a name, and I will say Formatted Times, like this. And then we will choose our flow's trigger. And it is when a file is created in SharePoint, when a file is created and then we can scroll a little bit down we could of course also have done the same case for OneDrive but the case is SharePoint but we'll need to have so we could either choose this one but that is not the properties so we need to scroll a little bit down and then we could either uh, choose between when a file is created or when a file is created or modified we want to um, have the trigger whenever it's created and modified so this is the one to use and we can see that it says parentheses properties only so choose that trigger and then click Create. The first thing that we will do is that we will put in our SharePoint site address. So click this drop down, and mine is called Sales. Then we will choose the library name that is Documents in our case here, and that's it. If we would only uh, need to get an email whenever a subfolder is updated, then we can have specified that in this folder. But we'll just get an email whenever a document is modified or created in the entire folder. Now we need to, so this uh, will give us in time the properties that will ha we'll have a time here, and we want to convert that time because then we will use it in an email in their uh, late part of the flow. So click New Step. Then we'll say Convert Time Zone. You could of course, of course also have found it on the date time, but here, convert time zone, click that. First, the base time, that is when our mail, uh, when, it, when our item up here was created. So uh, scroll a little bit down and click create it. This is a property for the time created, like this. And it's in the UTC the format, so we need to convert that to get our local time zone. Then we will click the source time zone, and the terms source time zone was, as I said, UTC. That's always the case, so we need to convert it if we want another time. Like here. Then we will choose the destination time zone. And I want to, I live in Copenhagen, so I'll have the plus one. Uh, it even says here, Brussels, Copenhagen, Madrid, Paris. That's my time zone. But you can choose yours. Then we'll need to specify what format we want it in. And that is the date time format. So we could either specify a custom value or we could specify whatever format, the given format that's standard here. We will choose the full date time pattern, long time, like this. Then I'll rename this because we will make a exact same block for the modified. So we will, it's always best practice to um, rename your activities. But right here, it's necessary. Then we'll create a new step, and we'll do the exact same thing, just for the modified. So convert time zone. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So again, the base time, that is the created here. The source, uh, sorry, that is the modified, of course. Um, and the source time zone, that is the UTC. Like here. The destination, that will be coming again. And again, if you live in another time zone, just choose yours. So plus one, Brussels coming here. And the format, that will just be the same format as we chose before. The full date, uh, long time here, like this. 
We will rename this one as well. So this one we call modified. And then we can send them send an email with the information in. So click new step. I will choose to send an email in Office 365 Outlook. Choose their click that and now we'll have a two i'll just send it to my own email like here the subject that could be something like um, a file was created modified and then we could have their name so i will just scroll a little bit down and find the name of the file that's here like this then in the body, we want some properties. Among that, we want the types. But first, we will have the folder path. We'll write in folder path, and then we can scroll a little bit down here. And the folder path is here. New line, and then we would have a created by. And we have some possibilities here. We can have created by department, job title, and but we'll choose the display name. That is the Office 365 name. Mine is Anna Jensen see it up here and then we will have a created ad that is the time that we created and that is the time that we uh, got out here so convert uh, the converted time so what we'll do is now it's nice that we can see easily see converted time zone created that's this one because those two have the same names otherwise you could have uh, the last created is always the one at the top but um, yes yeah, easier to just rename your activity as well so uh, then a new line, and now we have to create it, then we want to modify it. So last modified by, and then we'll have a, uh, as we did up here, we'll just have a modified by display name here. Then last, we want a time from up here. So uh, last modified add, and then we will have uh, the converted uh, time modified, and we'll find that here up here in the converted time. So now we can send an email or we can actually, we can start start our flow and then we could um, drag in a file to our document here so we can actually send the email with the flow. So let's click save, we are done. We click test and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you find the video useful. I'll be making a lot of more videos about Power Automate the coming months. So click save and test, like here. Now Power Automate is listening. So uh, it's listening on, uh, is there a new file created on SharePoint? So why don't we do that? I have a new Microsoft Excel worksheet here. I could just rename it just for the fun of it. So hey viewers, like this. Then I will just simply just drag this guy in. I, so now we uploaded it. We could go back to our flow. And if this flow will wait a few seconds for a trigger and then it will run, we can see that our flow ran successfully and all steps completed successfully. Then we can go to our mailbox and we can click that mail and we can see that the file was created modified. That is Hey Virus, that was the title of the document. And now we can see all the information here, including the time in our time zone, that is 11.25 p.m. And that is indeed the time now. So that's it for today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.